everybody, hands by your side. I'm so happy to see David. I'm so happy to see Vishan. I'm so happy to see Aran. Everyone is fun in the new workshop. I'm, I'm so happy to see Auntie. I'm so happy to see my friends. Everyone is fun in the workshop. Talk about our mother earth and we have to save our mother earth. First, you know, mother earth was smiling like this. Can you make a smiling face, happy face? But now, mother earth is making like this face. Sad face. You know why? So, earth was clean and beautiful and happy. But now, few people, then many more and many more. And now, so many people, what are they doing? They are soiling, they are making the earth dirty. And do you know how they are making the dirt dirty? They throw water. No, there is water only. When they are hot. So I will show you three ways how they are making earth dirty. Okay? When people were traveling, they had their own car. One car for David, one for Zishan, Ayansh and everyone. Like that, there were 13 cars on the road. And each car was having only one child. And every car uses petrol, diesel, right? And when they use, they emit gas. All the dirty. Yeah, yeah, we will go, go back to that. Every vehicle emits gas. What does it do? Emits. Emits means it removes. Makes our air so polluted. You, when you try to breathe oxygen, instead of oxygen, it is pollution everywhere. Look outside. Just look outside. Sit and look outside. You will see it is so blurred, isn't it? Because there is. You can't even see the near yeah, because there is so much pollution. So, so today we will find out the different ways how to save our mother earth, how to save our environment. This is our environment. Wherever you say nearby, this what? What is it called? Environment. Three times. Environment. Again. And we have to save our environment. You are sitting here, one, 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 like that. Ten cars were there. Ten cars means so much gas emitting out. And what was happening? It's getting polluted right here. But now, you, my young children, will save the earth. In the between, you will see the divider. That divider, if you place trees, it will give fresh oxygen. So, more oxygen. Less carbon dioxide. Can we say? More oxygen, less carbon dioxide. More oxygen, less carbon dioxide. And this is the first point. We are saving our mother earth and environment. Okay? I'll call it R. Okay? Three magic R. Reduce. Can, can everyone say reduce? Reduce. Reuse. Reuse. Recycle. Recycle. Reduce. Reuse. Recycle. If I was using 10 plastic bags, now I will use only 3 plastic bags. So I am reducing. If I am ordering food from out, I will clean those jars and I can reuse them again. If I am using paper bag or cloth bag, I can recycle them by giving them by giving it to the scrap dealer. Okay? I will use dustbins. Dry dustbin and for waste. Okay? Which are the two different types of waste? Dry waste, wet waste. Yes. Dry can be recycled. Wet cannot be recycled. Okay? When you see so many plastic things, there was a big plastic monster in the water. Plastico. Plastico. Its name was Plastico. And what was it happening? What was happening, you know? When there was Plastico in the ocean, the fish, the other aquatic animals, they couldn't get the oxygen properly. They couldn't breathe. And when they, they were trying, when they were opening their mouth to eat, the plastic paper was going inside their mouth. I can do it, do it. So this Bina thought it's a monster. But then slowly, slowly, when she removed all the things, she saw it was not actually a monster. It was the tetra pack, the bottles, the... Uh, wrappers and everything got collected and it took the shape of the monster. 
when she removed everything she put it in the proper dustbin all the plastic items she put it in this dustbin all the metal things you know what is metal latches and everything it is metal and all the different materials which cannot be recycled or whatever and what did she see to her magic the monster is gone the monster was gone and now everybody was happily playing whenever you go you take your own bag your own straw your own bottle your own spoon so that you don't waste anywhere okay so now what happened what listen Words, promise me we will not throw any dust any waste in the water or on the beach kian you are not promising me oh my god you are promising me so hard yes what are we promising we will not throw waste on the beach where will we throw in the garbage Superb job, man! Superb. Transport. Public. Nivya, why should you use a public transport? Because it doesn't emitate so many pollutants. Okay. Now, question for you, Kriya. Kriya, right? You were going out for a picnic. You went out. You locked your house, but forgot that electricity, fan, everything is on. Will you still go for a picnic or unlock the door and switch it off? I unlock. I unlock. Are you Kriya? No. Yes. I unlock the door. I open. I open the light. Very good. Yes, Kriva, this is for you. Now you are growing tall, but you have so many clothes. What do you do with these clothes? Do you throw it in the dustbin or you give it to someone? Someone. No, I am talking to Kriva. No, it is her idea. Um, you give it to needy people. You are growing so big, and you have such nice, nice, beautiful clothes. Never throw. You know, on the road there are so many needy people. Who needs clothes? Your footwear. They need food. You should always share. Okay? And please. One more time. Please.